Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and I'm going to be showing you some job adverts that you could potentially get um, once you become an actuary. So, for example, I got this one today. It's a job advert from Dynamo Analytics. And yeah, what we're going to do is just read through what are some of the criteria that they look for. So this is for an actuarial analyst um, based in Stellenbosch. And the big perk is that you get local and international travel. That immediately puts me off because I live in Cape Town, best city in the world, so you don't really want to travel outside of it. Um, interestingly, I mean, they're talking about underwriting and capital management, so that's non-life insurance. Um, automatic and optimizing technical processes through cutting-edge technology. So some big fancy words, um, improved decision making through financial and actuarial modeling. Okay, whatever, what we want to know is what, what do you need to get in. So a senior analyst needs to have two to four years and experience uh, in non-life actuarial functions. And they're also seeking two junior analysts with one to three years experience who have actuarial, statistical or programming skills. Hence why I'm also learning Android uh, programming because it is a good skill um, that future employees do look for. And then they have, um, do you have a thirst for development and learning and all that other type of stuff. Um, but yeah, let's look at some, some others. Um, how do I go back to, here we go. Uh, forget about all these job alert things, those are aren't really good what you actually let's actually type in um, job advert there we go and then we can see all the ones that we've potentially got so you can see this is you're getting these um, you get these things like weekly um, Wits University so if you wanted to be a lecturer you could uh, come here but the requirements is that you need some teaching and research experience and you been, must want a PhD, okay. Um, is this a back, oh, there's the back button. UCT is also looking for a lecturer. Um, what is this one, quantitative finance, CQF, Cert a certificate in quantitative finance. I don't know if this, is this a job? No, this is to compete in a course. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Oh, I don't know, was that a job? No, that's just an advert, sorry. Um, Old Mutual, what are they looking for? Old Mutual is looking for a senior actuarial supervisor requirements with at least 14 actuarial credits and six years actuarial experience. Okay, I don't have either of those. Strong business acumen. Oh, I must say, I'm not, I'm not looking for a job. I've got an awesome job, but I thought I'd show you guys... Um, all the potential jobs out there. Um, Santum, so they are very big um, general insurer in South Africa. They insure actually quite a lot of the main businesses in our country. What are the requirements here? Excellent reports and writing presentation skills, strong logical and analytical abilities, um, Senior actuarial student, oh, you can be a student, or a qualified actuary, or an advanced statistical or mathematical qualification. And I've seen that with quite a few of them. They don't, you don't have to be an actuary in order to apply for these, although that does help. If you have anything with statistics or mathematics, I mean, you can train into the, the course. Um, but let's just see what else is there. Let's see if there's any fun ones. Liberty Health, um, wait, let's check out this one, yeah, Liberty Health, I mean, this is quite boring, they don't put any little pictures, what do you require, only one to two years work experience in an actuarial environment with health insurance experience, um, what else is there, Pacific Life, so this is a reinsurance, um, ooh, they've got a pretty picture of a whale, which is weird. Um, you must have at least five years 
Okay, so you can see these are for all the actuarial jobs. It's not just um, the students. So with quite a few of them, you'll be like, okay, I can't get that one. Ooh, Munich Re, you should know them no matter where you are in the world. They're one of the biggest reinsurers. Uh, qualified or nearly qualified actuary with a minimum of five years. So you can see experience is kind of key. So if you're coming out straight from the job market, uh, it's going to be tricky. But once you get your experience I mean, everybody kind of wants you. I've never heard of Arjun. I don't even know who they are. What do you... You must be a South African citizen. And you must know how to use Microsoft Excel. And you must have a university degree. Yeah. But they... Oh, so, oh, there. Junior actuarial student. So... But that one, the deadline was, was January this year. So there's, yeah, it's quite nice to look at this and just see all the various um, different companies. I mean, f &B, that's one of the big banks here. They're looking for some actuarial talent. Um, what else is there that grabs our eye? How do you even say this word? As a, I think that's an acronym. Um... I could just, where is it, Pretoria, oh, that's far away. Minimum qualifications, grade 12, and a bachelor's degree in actuarial science. So this is very much a, for a student. Um, Aon, remember they sponsored good old Man United. And um, requirements, three years experience, completed the CTs, um, strong technical, Attention to detail, may be required to travel from time to time. You don't really want a job that you have to travel. Um, except if you live in Joburg, then you want to travel because then you might get to travel down to Cape Town. Uh, Deloitte's. Deloitte's is like that accounting firm that are hiring some actuaries so that they have some smart people with their company. No, I'm just joking. Accountants are cool. Well, not really. Um, three to seven years previous experience in consulting or life insurance valuation, modeling or product pricing. Um, what will the role offer? Ooh, ooh, that whenever you see SAM or solvency to maybe run because uh, that's regulation work. And what I've heard from my friends is that's not the most glamorous thing to do. Um, Quantum Australia. Why is Australia the sexiest job of the 21st century? Okay. But it's Australia, so... Yeah, that's, a little, that's quite far. And then check, you can even work for the, the Financial Service Board. Uh, that's going to be... Yeah, there you see. As soon as you see that run, run, that's like... no. Oh. Um, and do I have more? I think I have more. So, yeah, you can see MMI, they're quite a big one. Um, but sure, you can see God Risk, they're quite cool. They do captive insurance. I like their little logo, it's a B. Um, and it's cute because, what? I th oh, they, they have it as cells and... They make you part of their hive and yeah, it's kind of cool. Good old God risk. But uh, yeah, I think that's that's all of the companies since I joined. I actually went for a job interview with Mutual and Federal back in the day. Um, but it was in Joburg, so that wasn't too cool. Although this is for a different position because this one requires... Oh no, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have 10, 10 years experience. I've got like not even 10 months. Uh, but yeah, those are some of the potential jobs you can get when looking to become an actuary. So they send you uh, the job adverts. You don't actually have to do that much job hunting. 
as we've seen, there's not a lot for students. Um, there is a lot when you get past three years experience, then it's like you can go wherever you want. So just bear that in mind when finding your first job, wherever you find it, don't worry about salary, don't worry about the perks and whatever, just take it. Take your first job gratefully and then after a few years you can choose wherever you want to work. So it is quite a nice profession in that sense, but yeah, don't be arrogant too much in the beginning. But yeah, these are the jobs. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments section below. And I'm going to leave you with ECIC. I've never heard of that company before. And it doesn't have any pictures. It doesn't even look pretty, so let's not even read it. No, you can't. Uh... <laughs> when you're looking for a job, you read every single little letter and you when you're desperate you're like oh maybe and even if you don't fit the requirements you're like oh maybe maybe like nobody else has sent their cv and i'll get a chance uh but hopefully we won't be in that situation for too long like i said i love my job so i'm not looking for it but i do keep getting the email so i thought i'd make a video so yeah thanks for watching and yeah go get a job and work because that's what actors do just